Guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be covering supplements and my specific supplement stack for my competition preparation. So before we get into it guys, I just want to quickly cover off a couple of things which are quite important in regards to this topic. First of all, um, nutrition really should be taken and extracted from proper foods. Supplementation should only be used as a, a secondary measure if you are deficient or if you struggle to get in nutritional macros or micros. Also, what I'd recommend everybody should be getting a blood test as well to see where they are. So I use Medichex. They don't sponsor this video or anything like that, but I've used them and they're really efficient, really good, really easy to use. And I think by using a company such as this, it's gonna give you a good overview of where you are in terms of your internal body, your hormonal output, your blood pressure, you know, your blood count, an array of different things. And with that as well, you'll be able to hone in on the areas that you may be a little bit more deficient. And then that's when you can start looking at your diet and in increasing certain nutritional values. And then on top of that as well, by adding certain supplementation into your diet. So again, just before moving on to kind of summarize that. So as long as your diet contains the relevant nutrients and a variety of different foods, i.e., you know, your fruit, your veg, your different meats, your poultry, your seeds, your nuts, all that stuff, then you should really be getting a lot of the vitamins and minerals from those particular foods. So carry on doing what you're doing because sometimes by having certain vitamins and minerals or supplementation, having too much of one thing can actually be a negative on your body. So it's always good to seek professional advice or go get yourself a blood test by, as I say, a company such as Medichex and they'll be able to really hone in on this and give you a bit of an overview of where you are and what you need to do to then move forward with a supplementation program or a diet program. So as you can see, um, I'm at the gym at the moment. Luckily, um, we've got contacts and they've let us uh, use the gym after hours and then we've got the access to the supplement area. So as you can see here, we've got a array of different supplements. These are some of the supplements that I actually specifically use within my competition prep. So what I wanna do now is I wanna kind of break down each individual supplement that on and give you a little bit of an overview, but so you just can get a bit of an, an idea of the content behind each individual supplement and why it's important to use and how you could potentially utilize it in your diet and training program as well. So first of all, I want to talk about salt, potassium and magnesium. Now, salt especially is probably overlooked as a supplement. You don't necessarily use it as a supplement, you just use it on certain foods. Because it's so overlooked, people forget about the actual values that it can bring to your health. Now, salt working in conjunction with potassium is classed as an electrolyte, so electrolytes are essentially help rehydrate your body and keep your body working to its optimal best. So by using supplements like salt, magnesium and potassium, these are going to work in correlation with one another to keep you hydrated and keep your electrolytes high. You can also buy specific supplements for electrolytes, which I'd highly recommend to anyone who maybe doesn't get enough electrolytes, maybe are dehydrated, but a lot of people don't realise that they're not consuming enough water throughout the day or enough salt. Because of that, you can feel drained, you can feel run down. Cognitively, you're not going to be 100% as well, so by utilising and salt, potassium, magnesium is going to help massively with your cognitive functions and be able to be on your optimal best for the duration of that day as long as you're consistently implementing that throughout the day. The second supplement I want to talk about, and this is a supplement that I take myself again, and it's really good for multiple things really, and it's actually scientifically been proven by many studies now that there's a lot of health benefits, long-term and short-term, especially for the more short, quick, fire explosive movements you know your power lifting sprinting weight lifting but going quite heavy it's all to do with the the atp which is the adenosine triphosphates helping to recruit and get more energy into that body as well so just a quick overview on creatine then so creatine is naturally produced in the body. It's used as a, an energy source, as I said before, for explosive movements. So really, the supplements, there's a lot of benefits of taking the supplement itself, i.e. if you're doing weight training, it can give you a lot of endurance, it can keep you hydrated, it can, keep you, it can help with recovery. So there's a multiple reasons why creatine is really good. I said earlier on, there's a lot of scientifically backed studies to say that creatine is actually really good short term and long term for health as well. So the creatine also helps with the hydration side of things as well, because what it does is, 
it draws water from your body into your muscles to keep the muscles nice, well and hydrated. Also helps with neurons as well and helps with cognitive functioning. So there's a lot of benefits of creatine. It can also help increase your strength from anything between 12 and 20% as well. So there's quite a natural increase from taking the creatine supplements as well. So a lot of benefits, as I say, and this is one thing that I use within my supplement stack for preparation for the competition. And at the moment it's working really well. So yeah, that's pretty much an overview of creatine. So the next supplement that I want to speak about is collagen. Collagen at the moment seems to be trending quite well. A lot of people are jumping on the bandwagon with it. There's a lot of health benefits of this and a lot of people will probably know of the health benefits of the good hair, the skin and the other things as well. It also aids with fat loss as well. So what collagen is, is a type of protein that is composed of amino acids. The three amino acids that it covers are glycine, proline and hydroxyproline. So collagen is found in skin, tissue, tendons, bones, and cartilage. So a quick overview of collagen. So collagen is found in connective tissue, skin, tendons, bones, and cartilage. Now it provides a structure support to the tissue and plays quite an important role in cellular processes as well, such as tissue repair, immune response, cellular communication, and they're just to name a few. So an overview of that is pretty much, it's, it's a really good supplement to be able to utilize on a day-to-day -day basis in your diet. So the next supplement I want to talk about is pre-workouts. Now, pre-workouts, a lot of people love the feeling, the buzz, the extra focus that it gives you in your workout. Me, myself, I do take it on a regular basis. I try not to take it too much because if you get used to it, in terms of like your body, your workouts become a little bit less effective when you don't take it. So what I try to do, I try to take it when I'm feeling days where I'm a little bit depleted or you know extra tired, then it helps give you that extra little boost so you can have a better, more focused training session and you can mitigate that kind of tiredness if you like. So what are pre-workouts, what, what are they for? They're designed to help increase performance, boost your energy, give you more power and stamina throughout your workout. They generally take taken about 20 to 30 minutes before a workout. Now, this is where people get things wrong with the pre-workout. So, you know, you get a lot of people on social media and stuff like that, that take the pre-workouts instantly before they start a workout and then they wonder why it's not taking effect straight away. And also they have issues later on in the day once they've taken the pre-workout workout because they're not fully exerted the energy that is give you. Now with pre-workouts it's important to take it 20 minutes to 30 minutes depending on your body type and how your body absorbs it. It's best to take it that time frame before a workout because then it gives it time for your body to absorb it, extract all the relevant nutrients and extract that energy that for your workout. So the benefits of pre-workout improve muscle strength, cognitive and mental focus, lean gains, endurance and what I found is as well a bit of a new trend if you like that's going around at the moment with pre-workout. A lot of the new pre workout workouts have got nootropics in them. So nootropics, in a nutshell, are pretty much stimulating cognitive supplements that help you to become very focused in a particular moment. So a lot of the university students, I'm sure many of you have heard in the past that they've taken special tablets that help give them that focus. Well, that's essentially nootropics, but they're now more widely spread spoken about now. And as I say, it's kind of a trending theme at the moment to be able to put them into a pre-workout and give you that extra focus during your workouts. So that's pretty much pre-workouts. I'm not going to talk too much about them because a lot of people do take them. Now, in terms of the caffeine content, I do believe that it's probably a little bit more healthier to just stick with caffeine. So the likes of coffee. Coffee is not a bad free workout to take if you mix it with coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil. That gives it the MCTs. With that, it gives you the energy that you need to fuel your workout. So again, with that, I personally use pre-workout. I also have coffee. But I usually have coffee on the days that I'm not as tired and then the days that I'm really fatigued and I'm really struggling, then that's when I'll have pre-workout because that helps give me that extra focus from the nootropics and obviously the extra energy and endurance as well. Now with the nootropic side of it, not all supplements have it in it. So obviously always check the back label to, to see what the contents are within that particular supplement. Always speak to a professional and, and make sure that you get a good understanding and overview of the supplements that you're taking as well. Because when you're taking such things as pre-workout, they could cause a lot of issues if people have got pre-existing medical issues. So make sure you always look into that and take a seek medical advice. Right then, so best to last protein. So the one I use is whey. Now whey protein to me is 
better for you. So it's already kind of broken down in terms of the digestive side of it. So whey protein has a very high nutritional value and it's one of the best dietary sources of high quality protein, which is why so many people take it. It's a highly digestible, easily absorbed as well compared to other proteins, especially the whey. So this is why I take the whey because it's easier to break down and puts less stress on your di digestive system. It's also rich in branched chain amino acids, um, the one being leucine. Leucine's again a red branched chain amino acid and leucine is the most growth promoting of the amino acids. For this reason, whey protein is effective for the prevention of age. So whey protein is effective for the prevention of age related muscle loss, as well as improved strength as well. Uh, and another couple of things with this one is whey protein is excellent for promoting muscle growth and maintenance when coupled with strength training as well. It's also very filling and even more so than other types of protein as well. So this makes it quite useful when working for goals such as weight loss. So it helps you feel fuller for longer, which is obviously gonna prevent you from eating as much foods and that will help with your weight loss journey. So that's the overview of the supplements that I'm specifically taking within my competition prep. I wanna deep dive now into the specific supplements and just give you an overview of what brand that I use, why I use them and where you can get hold of them if this is something that you wanna get hold of yourself to incorporate in your diet. So we'll start with the whey protein. Now I use effective whey. Now this to me is more concentrated. There's a lot more, I believe, development gone into the making of this particular product. Now effective, they've been around for quite some time now. The flavors are really good as well. I think this one is, yeah, the double chocolate. The double chocolate is absolutely banging. Really good. It's also got this one, which is like the biscuit spread. So it's kind of like the Biscoff flavor as well. So I, I, that one's really nice. But they've, as you can see from the back here, there's quite a few different flavors. So there's a lot to pick from. But yeah, I, I absolutely love this brand. And again with this, what I'll do, all these supplements that you can see in front of me, you can get hold of them at www.discount dash supplements.co.uk and you can basically on that website once you've chose what supplements you want once you go to the basket if you use code matt mcsherry in all capitals m a t t m c s h e r r y i'll leave a link in the comments in the section below and you can get these products for 10 percent or up to 10 percent off as well so next one i want to speak about is pre-workout so i've obviously give you a bit of an overview on pre-workout i've got to say i've struggled with pre-workouts in the past the reason being is because of the better alanine in it and the also the alarginite as well sometimes they can have a bit of a reaction because i'm quite fair skinned now i believe it's the better alanine in it that gives you if there's too much of it, it to me it gives you like that overwhelming itchiness in your face and on your pores as well so i actually struggle to focus when that take effect so i'd rather take something that has less better alanine in it and you can it's more controllable essentially so the one i found is dark side onslaught now this is made by alpha neon and again you can get all of this at discount supplements using my code really good and probably the best pre-workout app that i've used it's also got nootropics in this one as well so when i spoke about that earlier on it gives you the focus gives you the buzz and it also gives you an insane pump during your workout as well so really good one that another one quickly to touch on it's while it's here is purge this is another really good pre-workout the only issue with this one it's got quite a high amount of better alanine in it so if you have got sensitive skin then it's probably not the best one to take it does give you that extreme focus i believe that's got nootropics in it as well but it does give you a bit of the itchiness and yeah the, the kind of fuzziness feeling but all in all the overall feeling that it gives you in terms of the pump and the focus is really good as well so that's another good pre-workout to take the next one we're gonna talk about is the collagen. This brand I particularly like, it's really concentrated again, I believe, and it's really well engineered. Now it's called Peak DNA, and again, you can get on this on discount supplements, use my code, and it's really specific, I believe, and really good, as I mentioned before, for skin health and all the other benefits of that as well. So that's a really good product. Now, these two products here, so we've got the Mind Plus, which again, this is Peak DNA, a really good brand. This one's for your cognitive functions. So it's called Mind Plus. Now, you wouldn't necessarily need to use this for the gym. You can actually use it in everyday, day-to-day -day life as well. So if you just want that little bit of extra focus or that kind of mental clarity, then this is a product that'd be really good to use. It gives, gives you that focus and that cognitive ability to be able to think freely and give you the kind of energy that you need for your mind. So that's a really good supplement to incorporate in your diet. And then ashwagandha. 
I hope I pronounced that right. But this is another really good product. Again, peak DNA, you can get it from the website using my code, up to 10% off. It's another one which is really good to reduce stress, pretty much helps to ground you as well. So another great one. Next one, we've got uh, the creatine. Now this is by Optimal Health, a really good product and a really good brand as well. Uh, I believe this is very isolated. They've really gone to town on the uh, specifics and the engineering of this, I believe. So a really good source of creatine and very direct if you like. So this is a, another product that I like particularly using. And again, you can get that on the Discount Supplements website. Now that I believe is all of them. So that's the pretty much overview of what I'm using. So if you want to get hold of these, as I say, you can go to www.discount-supplements.co.uk and using Matt McSherry as the code on checkout. And that's going to give you up to 10% on these supplements. And you can enjoy these just as I do for my competition prep. Right then, so before I cap off this video, I just want to leave you with something. Now, for this particular part, I think we should go into cinematic mode. That's better. If you were told you can only have one car for the rest of your life, you would do what you could on a daily basis to maintain that car and look after it, wouldn't you? You'd MOT it, you'd service it, you'd change the tyres when you needed to, you'd put the right fuel in it, and you'd just look after the car in general for the longevity, right? So now replace that car with your body. Why aren't people doing the same and carrying out the same principles as they would the car? It is essential to put the right fuel into your body, eat the right things, drink the right things. It's essential to keep your body stimulated, your mind stimulated by working out, going for walks, going for runs, doing, practicing mindfulness techniques, meditation, reading, anything that's gonna help ground you. And constantly creating good habits that are going to help maintain your health, both physically, mentally and spiritually. So just think about that and make sure that the next time you pick up them bad foods, just be a little bit more conscious about the fuel that you're putting into your body and the longevity and the potential repercussions that could happen long term in terms of health issues and other things such as that. So thanks for tuning into this video guys. Hopefully you got some value from this. So this is pretty much a summary of the supplementation that I'm taking for my preparation for my competition. It's not far out now. We're only nine weeks out tomorrow. But if you're watching this video a later date, then obviously I might have already competed. So you'll be able to watch other videos to see how I got on. But thanks again for, for joining me on this video. And any people that have any suggestions on content that they want me to cover, whether it's specific stuff about training, health, wellness, or anything else, give me a, a comment down below and I'll be sure to try and cover it if enough people get in touch. Again, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.